Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number four of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One. We're really getting into the flow of this now. Into episode number four, we got our second game in the Premier League. We're at home against Aston Villa in the rain. Now, I'd actually played this game already once before, and unfortunately, hopefully this doesn't become too much of a pattern, but the game froze on me uh, in about the 80, 85th minute when I was 3-1 up. So uh, it kind of happened, I was making a substitution and uh, went back to... Uh, to play the game after pausing and uh, it actually went, uh, just froze while I was sat behind Petatech trying to take a goal kick so hopefully that doesn't become a regular occurrence and fingers crossed it's just a one-off for FIFA 14 on Xbox One because of course we've had plenty of problems on current gen with freezing etc so let's put that aside we've got the game working properly for us and we're actually 1-0 down in this one but you can, as you can see Oscar's going to have to get substituted after just 20 minutes with a bruised shoulder so I'm going to take him off I'm going to put on Shirley in his place he's got a little bit more pace than, uh, than Oscar and one nice little addition here as you'll see as I go back it actually shows a replay of the challenge where uh, the player got injured as you can see he fell nastily on that shoulder went down and stayed down we've had to take him off but he's only out for nine days so uh, hopefully he will be able to come back fighting fit within the next week or two and maybe even uh, Andre Schurler it's a chance for him and or Willian to uh, <coughs> excuse me to uh, to really really nail down a place in the first team and maybe they can jump at the chance put in some performances and uh, maybe Oscar might find it hard to get back into this starting lineup but we're pushing forward coming up towards the end of the first half and I'm trying to create some chances and it's Michael Essien that has the snapshot from the edge of the box I held the defender off well by yeah, just backing into him a little bit Got the turn on him and tried to find that far bottom corner, but the goalkeeper made a good save. So we went in at half time, 1 0 down for the second Premier League game in a row. Of course, we went in 1 0 down against uh, Hull City in the previous game as well, but we were able to come out of that one with a decent victory 3 1, with of course that Diego Costa hat trick. So if we could put together another second half comeback, I would be very, very pleased indeed. And uh, we actually started the second half quite well. Andre Shirley, who, well, like I say, had come on, maybe trying to prove a point, get himself into the first team. He's not doing his chances any harm whatsoever with a turn and finish like that. Just 10 minutes into the second half, and we are back on level terms. I really like these replays, guys. I cannot cannot stress that enough. As a fantastic turn and finish, and uh, we're back on level terms. Coming up towards the L mark, they're, uh, they're on the attack straight away after uh, we've equalised. And Alan Hutton is the danger man down the right-hand side. And Christian Benteke is so powerful in the air. He's almost more effective on Xbox One so far, to my experience, as he has been on uh, on 360. He came even closer there. This time getting it past check. But uh, unfortunately for him, Ashley Cole was round on the cover to hook the ball away before either it crossed the line or the uh, the second man was able to race in and smash it into an empty net. And uh, Sammy Eto'o had come on for Fernando Torres, was trying to do his bit to uh, to stake a claim for a first-team place because uh, Torres had been playing well, obviously not scored, but uh, Eto'o hasn't been putting in the performances for me so far. Torres obviously scored in pre-season. And again, we rely on Petitek in the last minute. Matters clearance actually smashed straight against uh, an Aston Villa player in Makuna. Uh, as you can see there, deflection and Bakuna hooks the ball, looking for that bottom corner and it just goes wide. It's an absolute let-off. We were going to get another chance ourselves into the 92nd, 93rd minute. Playing some decent passing football, finds Sam Aleto on the edge again. Looks for that finesse shot to the far top corner. This time it's a little bit more accurate, but still not accurate enough. Drifting past that far wide post, or that far side post. You'll see again from the replay, nice turn. Decent finesse, but the uh, the defender positioned himself well. Couldn't quite get the whipping that he needed. Didn't quite have the sight of that far top corner. So we're only picking up a point from our second Premier League game. That's four points from two games now. And we really do have it all to do in uh, in the second game. Because we've got Manchester United away coming up. But before that, there is some transfer dealings to be done between matches. As you can see, we're bringing in Danilo. Offering him a contract, £60,000 a week for four years. Going to give him a squad rotation player. Because, of course, we'll have Ashley Cole, Azpilicueta. Danilo and we're also uh, Ryan Bertrand as well and we may even have another signing coming in at win back as well so you can see the uh, the deal for Danilo is done and this is the other potential signing we're going to throw in a bit of nine and a half so it's exactly what AC Milan want for Mattia De Ciglio and uh, we'll have to wait and see whether that is accepted but as you can see Manchester United away is the next game it's absolutely huge it's the biggest game of the season so far and it comes just a few days after the Aston Villa game so I had to make a couple of changes but so uh, Willian getting a start here lovely feet to get around the uh, around the midfielder and a fantastic finish just 10 minutes in really again every single player that seems to come into the team puts in a performance every single time really trying to uh, give me the proper selection headache when it comes to picking a starting 11 for a game 
You'll see again from the replay, I think it's Raphael he beats there, who then takes out Fellaini, but it's a fantastic finish from Willian. His left foot has been superb for us so far, and he has actually been scoring quite a few goals. He scored a couple in pre-season, if you do remember, a nice turn inside the defender against uh, Bayer Leverkusen, and he's going to be involved again here, with standing the ball up. It's actually Juan Mata that wins the header, probably the smallest man on the pitch, beats uh, Nemanja Vidic to it. Just kind of, uh, Nemanja Vidic wasn't near him, so he couldn't quite close him down in time. But unfortunately, it isn't a comfortable save for uh, Anders Lindegaard, actually. They were playing in goal. Not really too sure why they weren't playing David Haya. But uh, Kagawa was going to have Man United's only effort of the first half here. Tame shot, in uh, in all honesty. And again, it's a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. And we went in at half-time, 1-0 up as the cutscene shows. Really nice uh, graphics there, the outside of Old Trafford. You see the statue there just above the uh, the entrance to the club shop down at the bottom but we push into the second half and it was more possession based really in the second half it was uh, me just kind of not wanting to give too much away and Man United trying to catch me on the counter attack but Torres does fantastically well there to pick up a goal he's uh, obviously will have been getting a lot of boost from the uh, Old Trafford faithful considering he is an ex-Liverpool player but he gets the ball out of his feet really well there as uh, the corner of Chelsea fans there go absolutely bananas Scherler and again involved nice turn and uh, gets it out of his feet and pulls it back across that is a fantastic finish and I really enjoyed that replay as well actually extremely realistic I'm just I'm just loving Xbox One FIFA 14 so much I know I say it in every single video but oh seriously this game is so good if you haven't got Xbox One yet then uh, you've really got an absolute dream waiting for you if you uh, you do get yourselves into the next gen race but Torres there with a the chance to get another uh, another decent shot on target and unfortunately he wasn't able to but Branislav Ivanovic definitely was a wonderful header from that corner late on in the 90th minute powering the ball in off the post Lindegaard stood there motionless there was nothing he could do about that one you'll be see from the second replay the technique on the header is absolutely fantastic up he goes beats Fellaini and just flicks it with his head his forehead and his neck turn of the neck absolute precision up onto that right hand post and into the back of the net and uh, weirdly one thing of note I'm not really too sure whether uh, it's just a mistake by EA but you see the players are going in to the middle of the pitch now the tunnel at Old Trafford is actually down in the corner so uh, maybe that's just a little bit of a mistake on their part and also one thing of note at Stamford Bridge the away fans are at the wrong end of the ground so uh, I don't know whether they'll be able to uh, to change that for uh, for FIFA 15 perhaps but uh, anyway let's get back to what is going on on the screen shall we and as you can see we've signed Mattia Di Cilio from AC Milan so we're going to send out Ryan Bertrand on loan to Cardiff City for 12 months to hopefully make sure that he can get up some or keep up some uh, some first team football make sure he can improve as a professional we're also sending out Marco Van Ginkel or Van Hinkle to uh, to Porto on a 12 month loan as well but as you can see it's deadline day uh, rather than show you a full countdown of uh, each hour I decided just to wait till the last hour and then flick through on the left-hand side. You can flick through each club individually, see who's come in, who's gone out, and uh, you'll be able to have a quick look at that. And then if you see on the right-hand side, there's the top deals. Thiago Silva to Manchester City for £26 million is a massive, massive signing, as is Wayne Rooney from Manchester United to Bayern Munich. Maybe Man United might have been a sterner force had they had him in their ranks, but he went to, uh, to Germany for almost £30 million. And then there was a transfer from Germany to Spain. Robert Lewandowski, £35 million to Barcelona. That's a massive, massive transfer for a run. Not only uh, Barcelona as a whole, but European football. Because, of course, they'll be even more of a force in the Champions League. Where we may come up against them should we get through the group stages. Uh, and uh, oh, Robert Lewandowski and Lionel Messi up top with Neymar and Pedro and Alexis Sanchez on the wings. It really is one hell of a team they've got there at Barcelona right now. But that is going to bring this particular episode to a close. As you can see, 108 million, almost 109, was spent in the entire transfer window. In fact, that figure may even be, as it says, their total amount spent today. So 109 million pounds spent solely on transfer deadline day. That is absolutely massive. But anyway, that is going to bring this one to a close, like I said. Feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. There will be a link in the description as well as an annotation on screen over the subscribe button on screen. So you can make sure that you miss out on nothing on Xbox One here. We've got plenty of career mode. There's also an Ultimate Team series and a cheeky squad builder every now and again as well. And if you missed the previous episode, then feel free to click the annotation on screen over the little snippet of footage from it you can see next to the giant flaming Chelsea emblem. But that is going to bring this one to a close. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.